Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel LearnIT. Today we will be having another session focused on use case scenario for requirement fulfillment which we apply regularly in our development activities. So if you are new to the channel, please like, share and subscribe to my channel LearnIT. Please watch my videos till the end for complete information. So let's move further and see what is the use case. So use case is like send the notification which contains catalog variables. So I will have to send the notification which will contain the catalog item variables, right? So this is the use case uh, which is generally utilized in many catalog item requirements. All right, so let's proceed further and see how we can involve or add those catalog item variables to the notification and the notification is further sent to the end user or the user whoever is requesting that notification or catalog items. All right, then uh, we will see what all things is required for this notification, which contains catalog item variables. First is like we have to create the notification and second is like we have to create the notification email script. All right, so these two uh, things I will be creating here and then the notification will contain the catalog item variables. All right, so let's proceed for our notification side first. So I will add or create one notification here. This is our notification suppose. So I will click on new button here and I will try to create a new cat new notification here. Catalog item creation all right and table will be sc requested requested item all right and when to send when the record is inserted or updated also and who will receive it i will add myself as system administrator and what would be the subject here new request is raised all right so here what we have to do uh, we have to add the catalog item variables so i have taken the example of one of the catalog item i will show you So this is our catalog item. So this catalog item, I will try to add some variables on my notification side. All right, so this catalog item is having three variables. So I will try to add those in my notification. All right, so what I will do is like notification is already created. And now I will try to create notification email script. All right, so what email script I will write? Let's see. So this is my email script, which I have named something. And now I will try to write some code here. I will get those variable name. Are you Q for current dot variables dot requested for dot get display value since it is a reference field so I thought to utilize this thing and similarly i would like to add for other two as well so other is date other is justification date from which the software is requested
and now business justification all right now what i will do is like i will try to add those on template it will not print without adding this thing template dot print i will add it three times requested for will come here date will come here and justification will come here all right so this is the way i have written our email script all right so now what i will do is like i will try to add a uh, this mail script here hi team hi user request is raised with following info now thanks support team all right now what i will do is like i will add dollar mail script this is the tag to call mail script what is our mail script where add so i will add our uh, mail script here <coughs> and i will save it now let me modify something here as well requested for here i will write date from which software is required all right and similarly business justification business justification all right so i have added this notification in one of the proper format so that it looks good whenever we are getting some information all right so now let's try to uh, go for a portal and try to raise this catalog item so i will click on request something i will click on software this is my catalog item filmora wonder share and requested for will be able tutor and date i will add for today tomorrow suppose this is required for my project all right so i will raise this request i will select able tutor and we can see our catalog item is already submitted and now we will check the logs whether the email is sent or not so now you can see there is a email or a new request is raised so now you can see requested for is able tutor date from which software is required this is the date business justification this is required for my project let's try to modify so that it comes aligned uh, with the new line so what i will do is like i will try to use br here which will break the row and it will go to next page so similarly i will do for second one also 
third one is not required because we don't have any fourth variable to be shown so let me click on save here and you can see this uh, script is saved and now let's try to preview our notification so you can see uh, the request is raised for following info able twitter date from which it is required this is required for my project all right so this way you can see the notification which is triggered here all right so this way uh, this fulfills the requirement for sending notification which contains catalog item variables values here and you can see and check whether the information added is correct or not right we can check here so you can see requested for eligible and date from which required and business justification it is exactly same notification which is displaying here all right so this way it fulfills the requirement to send a catalog item variables for any catalog uh, item all right so please provide your comment if you have any questions doubts or queries related to this session for more information please visit the description section under this video thanks for hearing me stay tuned for more videos please do like share and subscribe to my channel learn it